All right, in today's lecture, we're gonna be learning how to draw round objects in perspective. Now, this is very important if you wanna draw more than just cubes in perspective. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at this square right here. Now this square represents the flat surface of one of the planes of let's say a box in 2D or in two point perspective. Well, we're, we need to figure out how to create a round object within this that we can replicate even when the square is warped into perspective. So first what we need to do is we need to draw an X through this. So we're gonna draw an X from one corner to the other. So one line like so, and then we'll draw the other one like so. And so what does this do? Well, this tells us where the exact center of our square is. Or if this was a rectangle, it'd tell us exactly where that center is. So when you're in perspective, let's say you're in perspective like so, and that's your plane. Well, you can still do the same thing. You can draw a line from there and a line from there. And now you know exactly where the middle of this plane is in perspective because this is gonna be wider than this part, yet that's still the center. So once we know where our center is, we need to go ahead and draw a plus sign through this. So basically we need to draw one vertical line through the center like so, and then we need to draw one horizontal line through the center like so. And so now what we can do is we can draw a diamond within this square. So we're gonna draw a line from this corner to that corner, just like so. And we wanna do that all the way around our box. All right, perfect. So now we have our diamond. The next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and draw a circle within this square. So the reason why we're doing this is because we're trying to see where that curvature is in comparison to this straight line. So a uh, circle is going to basically come to about here. And then it's going to curve back down to this point like so. And it'll do the same thing right on over to this side. And then we need to go ahead and do that all the way around our circle. And this actually needs to come out just a little bit more. All right, so there's our circle. So basically by drawing this diagram, we have a good understanding of how to recreate the circle on a plane that's in perspective. So what we want to do now is we want to apply this to a perspective drawing. So we're going to start off by drawing our horizon line. Then we're going to go ahead and add in our two points. So we'll have one vanishing point there and another vanishing point right here. Then let's go ahead and draw our vertical line like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect this. So I'm going to connect one to that bottom point. And I'm actually not gonna have it this tall. I'm gonna go ahead and only bring it to about there, like so. So none of that line really matters. Then let's go ahead and connect these two. And then I'm gonna go ahead and erase this line since we actually don't need it that tall anymore. And then we're not gonna worry about making a top surface for this because you'll see why in a second. What we wanna do is we wanna create a circle on this plane perspective right here. So let's go ahead and add in our edge to our cube. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same pattern but on this face. So first off, we need to go ahead and draw an X through it. So we're gonna draw a line from one corner to the opposite corner like so. And then we'll do the same thing on the other corners. Great, so next what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and find where those vertical and horizontal lines are that are in the center. So first we'll draw our vertical line right down the middle like so, so it crosses right through that middle point. And then we wanna find our middle line going horizontally. And so what we'll do is we'll line up our ruler with this midpoint right here all the way out to our vanishing point. Then we can draw a line right through that like so. 
So now we have our plus sign and our X. Next, we wanna go ahead and create our diamond. So I'm just gonna quickly do this by hand. So I'm gonna draw a line from there to there. I'll draw another line from here to there. And I'll draw another line from here to there. And I'll do this same thing with this last two points, like so. So now we've created this same pattern, but in perspective. The last thing we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and draw in our circle shape. So we wanna mimic this again. So our circle comes to about the middle between this line and this corner. So we wanna do the same thing over here. So we wanna find about where that middle is. And then we wanna go ahead and draw a curve that comes and matches up to that point, And then comes and matches back up to this point right here. Like so. Then we'll do the same thing over here. So we'll find the midpoint there. And so this one is actually, since it's in this perspective, it's going to be a lot more stretched out than this one. So we'll go ahead and draw that one in. Like so. And then let's go ahead and do the same thing for these bottom ones. So we'll put a line right here in the middle. We'll put another line right here in the middle also. So this you'll see gets really squished because of the way the perspective is. And then we'll do this last one. All right, great. Now this isn't perfect, but if you wanted to spend more time making sure you got those curves perfectly right, it would look much better. But for now, this will work well enough. So we have our basic circle shape in two point perspective. Now, if we wanted to create a cylinder, all we'd have to do is draw a line coming off of this corner right here, back to our vanishing point, and the same thing for up here. We draw from this top right here back to our vanishing point. So let's go ahead and do that. But before we do that, let's go ahead and erase away all of these guidelines because we don't actually need them anymore. All right, so now let's go ahead and draw those two vanishing point lines. So we'll go from right here, and we basically wanna line up with this line right here. So at that point, all the way back to our vanishing line. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing from here to that top point, like so. Now, as we get to this edge of our cylinder, the perspective on this circle is going to change because it's in a different position. So what you need to do is you need to basically do the same thing we just did here, but down here. So you're first going to draw your lines coming from this vanishing point, but over to this area right here. So you create a flat square surface, and then you wanna redraw your pattern onto it, and then create your circle. And whatever edge you get on this side of your circle, that's going to be the edge of the cylinder. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and eyeball it in um, about where it should be. But for you, you wanna make sure that you redraw this, that way you get the correct perspective. So since it's further down, it's gonna be stretched out just a little bit more. Like so. And then I'll go ahead and solidify that top and bottom line. All right, perfect. So now we have a cylinder in two point perspective. Now where else might you wanna draw a rounded edge? Well, let's say that you're drawing um, a building that has arches. And so you have your one point here and then you have your lines coming off like so. And so here's your flat surface. And then let's say that you have arches going like this on that surface. Well, to figure out how those arches are going to curve, you would do the same exact thing. You would draw the same square right here, and then you would have to draw your X through it, and then your plus sign through it, and then your diamond, and then you would need to draw your circle around in that. But there's all different types of places where you would need to use round perspective in your drawing. Let's also say, for example, that you're drawing a car in perspective. Well, if you need to draw wheels on that car, you're gonna to need to know how to do that in perspective. And so knowing how to draw round things in perspective is extremely useful. That brings us to the end of this lecture. So in this lecture, you learn how to draw objects that are round in perspective. So just remember that the way you draw a round object is first by finding the center of your object, then by drawing, drawing a diamond to use as a reference for your curve. And then once you do that, you wanna apply that onto your surface area that's in perspective, and then you want to replicate that curved line in proportion to your reference line, which is the diamond lines. 
Thanks for watching this lecture, and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Now, if you have any questions about this, I know that this can get kind of complicated. Make sure you ask them in the Q&A section of the course. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.